hello my sisters and brothers i hope everyone is blessed and doing well so um last night i had a vision that i was sitting in the dark making a video and somebody was holding a flashlight to my face i'm not sure who it was but i literally saw myself sitting down in the dark and i was making a video with somebody holding a flashlight to me so you know what i think that means i think it means the three days of darkness is at hand and um i am ready i have my flashlight and my candles and i know that this is supposed to be um a scary event however i have no fear i am anticipating this because i feel like it's going to be the start the beginning of everything um not only that during the day yesterday i was laying down and i got an alert in my head you know, like when you're texting on your phone and you get a message on the top and then it goes back up. That's how it happened in my head. And it said black alert. And then it went back up. And after that, I saw a full moon floating past by my head. So um, I feel like solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, full moon, new moon. I feel like they are of great significance because I always hear and see these things all the time. Sometimes I even see myself touching the moon or the moon is like following me in my car. So I believe that um, these things have great significance. And, excuse me, and um, last night I laid down for a few seconds and I got like a ton of messages. Like it was like a bunch of images downloading in my head and flashing so quickly I couldn't even keep up with it. Um, but I do, I do remember some which is the 144 I saw. I also saw the number 11, which I explained what that meant in my last video. I saw 932, which means royalty, kingsmanship, something like that. And then um, I heard 15 minutes till revival. Now, obviously, 15 minutes is symbolic. It's not literal. You know, God's time is not our time. And it says one day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like one day. So, um, I don't know. I just, oh, I also heard tsunami declared. That's just how I heard it. Um, the other things I forgot, which, um, kind of saddens me because I feel like everything is so significant right now. Everything is important, especially at this time, but you know, um, God will reveal it again if need be. And I also wanted to talk about, um, People who still don't believe that women are part of the elect. God does not do things according to how man sees fit. He does things according to his own will. Um, he does not choose perfection. He chooses imperfection. And he does this so that he can get the glory. The word virgin in the Bible is not literal. The Lord speaks in parables. This is why I say the Bible is so deep in the Holy Spirit you know, has to reveal these things to you and break it down into simplicity so that we can understand God's ways because his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. This is why he gives the gift of the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. You know, people are going to be so unbelievably shocked when they see the type of people that God has chosen, the lowly things, the despised things of the world to confound the wise. You know, um, this is just how he is. He is very mysterious. The way that you think things are going to happen, they're going to happen the exact opposite way. And for the people that are following these false prophets and teachers and these pastors that own these million dollar churches, they do not hold the truth. I mean, the God that we serve, they're not serving that God. They are serving um, fame and, and money. That's their God. And they're not being led by um, the Holy Spirit. That's why you can tell by the way that they preach. They preach on, oh, that car that you've been praying for, you're going to get it this year. That house that you've always wanted, God is going to bless bless you with it this year. They're not saying repent for the kingdom of God is near. You know, so people are getting so hypnotized by um, these false teachings that they can't see past it. You know, um, stop idolizing man and get intimate with the Lord, seek him so that he can reveal to you these things because he is the way, the truth, and the life, okay? Um, your truth, you receiving truth depends on the type of relationship that you have. If you want truth like you need air, you're going to have to get an intimate relationship with the Lord and he will 
deliver the truth to you. He cannot lie. Um, so whatever has been told to me, um, whatever vision or dreams that I have gotten from the Lord, I'm going to take my chance and believe in what he's telling me because he says it's better to trust in the Lord than to trust, than to put confidence in man. Um, he says this for a reason. Um, for many false prophets will come and deceive many, and that is what's happening. Um, so I guess that's basically it. You know, repent for the kingdom of God is near and seek the Lord. This is the time. Um, this is the time to be seeking the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul. So God bless and you guys enjoy your day.